I'm standing in front of a mural piece, a couple of mural pieces that I'm doing to go into the windows of Pace in, in Chelsea, You'll be able to see it from the high line. Uh, these are done on foam core and then they're going to be put on the wall, but it's using basically the same techniques that I use for my outdoor art. So the pieces are printed out in black and white and then painted in with red and then varnished to give them um, an off-white color. And then the smaller pieces are screen prints. And uh, you know, I started off reading up screen prints because the largest I could print myself was 20, 18 by 24 to 24 by 36. And so I um, would use images that could work well repeated in a grid. And um, then I developed using a, a lot of wallpapers that would work seam to seam to create a repeat pattern that was another way to cover a larger amount of space without revealing the limitations of the, of the scale. A lot of the things that could be seen as technical limitations to not knowing what size the wall is, I think that I adapted to aesthetically in a way that's appealing. So even when I do know the size of the wall, I still use um, the ripping and overlapping to mimic the feel of the way posters get layered up on the streets, which is, a, I think, a, a, you know, a trademark of my work that people, people recognize and, and is appealing. Um, you know, from both uh, a stylistic point standpoint and a functional standpoint. All this stuff is, is put up with wallpaper paste that you can get at the hardware store, mixed in a bucket, put up with a janitor's broom that's used as an oversized brush, and um, I mix a little bit of acrylic in it to make it more waterproof, but it's very, very simple ingredients that anybody can get if they live in a town with a, with a hardware store and an art store.